Lucy Tarley and I am back in New Zealand after 10 years being away in the UK and I'm really looking forward to getting back into the electronic dance music scene here in New Zealand and seeing what's up. What I love about drum and bass is the first time I heard it, it was unlike any other genre of dance music I'd ever heard and it it got me simply because it was bassy. Drum and bass of all dance music genres, except maybe techno, has that has that real pulse, that real uh, beat to it that just makes me want to move. The music that first really moved me was hip hop music and electronic music, totally. So I loved like 80s electronic music that I heard. I loved the synth sounds. And then as I sort of sort of got into that and I got into black music, then I started to research a lot more. I spent more time digging in crates and, and, and listening to what people, you know, were like, oh, you might you like Marvin Gaye or you, you, you might like, you know, this guy over here, you might like that. You know, um, I'm a sponge, man. I just, I just soak up music all day long. My writing has changed since Zero From My Lip in a sense that when I first started out in the scene I was young and I had a lot to prove and I was very impressionable and I was very scared and insecure so I feel like the music really embodies that I, I felt like I had something to prove, I had, I, you know, I had a persona and an attitude that needed to sort of take precedence over maybe the real me. I mean when you're a woman in the scene you, you're expected to be so much better, you know, you've, you've really got to be above and beyond. The standard and the calibre of what you produce has to be excellent and beyond anything. Whereas you get a lot of guys who just do very so-so music, and but it's okay because it's a boys club. And that is something that I really want to change. I've been to the bottom of the barrel and back in a lot of ways. Emotionally, I completely wore myself out. I suffered depression. I came through it naturally just through my own courage and self-discipline. And so my music now is just heaps more relaxed. It's less about me and it's more about the environment that surrounds me. I've come back to New Zealand and my plans are, I mean I have a lot of, <laughs> I have a lot of plans, I have a lot of things I want to do. To start with, um, I've got loads of gigs I want to do over the summer. I just recently finished an electrified tour, which was just awesome, and I loved it. And off of the back of that, I've been asked if I will play uh, three more gigs at Sandwiches, one for Trey and Friends, one for Camo and Crooked, another one with the Shifter Guys. And um, I'm also playing a fantastic festival called Rhythm and Alps, which is the sister festival to Rhythm and Vines. It's happening um, Terrace Downs in Canterbury on the 28th and 29th of December. And on the first night, I'm actually doing a live set because for those that don't know, not only did I produce an electronic version of my album, but I also produced an acoustic version of the album with live musicians. You drive me crazy, baby. I need to see you and feel you next to me. And then on the second night, I'm emceeing with LTJ Bookham, followed by uh, the 30th and the 31st at La Dida in Martinborough. Uh, and then following on from that, I've got a few more club gigs in January, and I'm playing the Winch Fest, which is a wakeboarding festival in January. Um, but I mean, that's all just performance-wise. On the bigger scope of things, I have a lot of plans. I'd like to collaborate with people, New Zealand musicians. I'd like to do some vocal production, writing. I also have ideas that I want to do songwriting retreats. I want to roll out a New Zealand music with a, with a positive attitude. I want to bring something refreshing to the scene. I don't think there's anybody like me in New Zealand music at the moment. There's a lot of fantastic female singers and vocalists who I give absolute all credit to, but there's nobody like me. I am an electronic music girl who also can sing acoustically pretty well. I'm a songwriter. I'm an MC slash rapper and I have a lot of energy and a, and a lot of enthusiasm not just for music but for life in general so I want to meet people, I want to play some trails, I want to make some music, I want to create some opportunities for other people. I want to really take advantage of this, this amazing life and opportunity I'm living in this fantastic country that we are all very very lucky to be a part of. I mean 
I'm really happy to be back. So we'll see what goes, what happens here. <laughs> we'll see what happens now. Hey, this is MC Tali, and I want to say big ups to Entertain Me and Nectar here in Kingston who have been hosting us here today in Auckland. Looking forward to seeing all of you this summer rocking at the festivals. Peace.